Hello, this is Tyler, level designer on Chromalition. I'm going to walk you through our game real quick, kind of talk through my design thinking as I go. So, a uh, player starts here in this construction area. There's a big open space, everything's very safe here to give the player some time to get used to the controls. But already in the distance we can see our ultimate goal with this uh, railway running right toward it. And some leading lines there to guide the player that that's where they need to go. Uh, I've done a very quick lighting pass of this area. We don't have a lighting artist, so I'm also doing that on this game. But here the player learns uh, jump. And then when they reach this area, uh, this is where they'll be taught flattened. There'll be little UI pop-ups that'll show them, uh, you know, what button to press. But uh, they can flatten, turn into graffiti, and go under this wall here. Very Splatoon-like. Uh, but it differs from Splatoon a little bit in a second. Uh, there's a very subtle way to teach double jump for height. And again, this kind of leading the player over there. And now they have to double jump for distance. Double jump for height. Flatten. Jump. Flatten. Uh, so I'm already asking them to kind of chain things together. They can take it as slow as they want. Everything's very non-punishing here. There's always ways to get back up if you fall in these pits. Uh, and kind of alternating warm and cool colors to lead the player around. Uh, I noticed as I was playing the new uh, Star Wars game, Jedi Fallen Order, that they had this nice, really just alternating warm and cool colors that led you through the level, at least the critical path of their tutorial. And here is where the player gets a button prompt for their first pop-out. It's a little buggy right now, but if they flatten on top of one of these graffiti things, and these are all very placeholder-y for now, and pop that out, boom, they get a platform to jump on. And so that's kind of our, our main mechanic, is uh, flattening, popping things out uh, to let you advance further. And there are some other things you can pop out later on. Um, Again, double jump. And this leads the player around. I've, I'm funneling the player, and boom, they get a view of Company Corp. I might move that rail over just so you get a more grand view of that. Um, these, gra these graffiti will eventually be done in uh, a very similar visual style, so the player knows um, that that's something they can pop out as opposed to other things that might be in the world like posters. So right there, um, or right here is where I teach the player wall run. So they pop out this wall and then there will be another little button prompt. And it's pretty easy, they basically just have to hold space and they'll make it across. They don't have to jump or anything. Later on I'll get more advanced with that. And now if I jump down, we got another little graffiti, and this time it's a ramp. So already, just going through the tutorial, they've had to jump, double jump, wall run, flatten, basically everything they're going to need to know how to do. Now I kind of put some of that to the test a little bit. And we're introduced to our main goal, which is getting paint and filling up these murals. So our main player motivation is exploration and discovery. So we wanted to build our game around that. So players explore, they get paint, they unlock murals that allow them to explore more because they get new abilities that allow them, allow them to go to new places. So you'll see right now, uh, I can actually not get up there, try as I might. Um, so I'll need to go get these paint. There's a few different ways to get up here. Um, I'll kind of take you a little side path. We get some coins. Coins will be used for cosmetics in the game. Uh, players will take them. We're toying around with the idea of doing a little dog. We don't know why it's talking, but it's a talking dog. Sunglasses, little Shiba. And as you go around and collect dog tags, you bring them back to the dog and he'll reward you with uh, cool new digs. So yeah, we're getting some paint here. There's our next one. Let's go ahead and take that over to the mural. And boom, our paint fills out a little bit more. 
here's the second way to get up there. Jump on here. Uh, everything's very non-punishing here. Just getting the player used to the mechanics. There's always steps back up or something if they miss a jump. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get at you. Coins, uh, everything leads them back to right there, where they can deposit their freshly won paint. They get their first ability, Kick Off, which allows them, whenever there's a drone enemy, they can hold down the right trigger uh, to kick off of that enemy. So we got these new little paints here. This, These ones are more similar to how the graffiti will actually look in-game. If we pop those off, we get these little enemies, and now we have like almost like a bridge of enemies. We get some right over here. Ah, and there's Company Corp. Uh, we can't go inside right now, but you'll be blocked. There's a gate, so that player needs to unlock their next ability, grind, in order to go beyond that gate. So, let's see what we can see. Um, there's blue light over there. Oh. And there, through the slats, we can see some blue. So let's head over here to this city area. Um, we get more paint. And at this point, I start asking the player to do more and more uh, mechanics in succession. Uh, so here's one of those grind rails we can't really interact with yet. If we jump on it now, just kind of fall off. Um, but I'm asking the player to do more and more, so, like right here, for example, we have to kick off this guy, wall run, jump, ooh, almost missed him. Um, and we get more and more paint, let's see if we can get over to that guy. And wall run, kick off, jump, oof. I need to loosen that up a little bit. Um, so I think we have all the paint in this area. I think eventually these blue lights will go out to let them know uh, paint is no longer in this area. And we we start starting to fill out this mural. Let's see if we can find some other paint, maybe over here. And there's some right there. Also one right there that definitely needs a light right there to make that pop. Oh, almost made it. So this area um, used to be a lot more linear, but after some playtest feedback, I kind of completely reworked the whole thing, made it a lot more circular, so that. Uh, it's easy to get back to areas you've been to before. And there's that paint. Let's see how we get up there. That's one way to do it. There's also a scaffold over there if players are still kind of unfamiliar with the mechanics. I'm assuming some blue light over here. Once we get some lighting in there, it'll be um, a lot easier to guide the player over to these areas. Alright, we got some paint. Let's go take it back to home base. So I really tried to make each area asymmetrical, very unique. Um, it might be a little hard to tell right now, but once once we get the actual environment art in there, it'll start to feel a lot better. Oh, got a bug with that one. Um, so now we have our ability grind, which lets us jump on these rails and zoom along. And right in front of the player, after they unlock that, is that grind rail. And if they've already been to Company Corp, then they'll be familiar with these little grind rails. Oh, look at that. Got some paint. So this last area um, with Company Corp, 
The goal won't be to get a new ability. The goal will be to kind of deface Company Corp. In our uh, in our story, Company Corp is destroying the art and culture of the city. They're sucking it all up with these drones. White, kind of white painting over everything. Um, so these drones will be around the city cleaning up that art, and we're gonna s stick it to them in one last flashy show. That will get paint and splatter murals all over their their company, and that'll be kind of the final mission. Oh, hey, me messed up that jump. Luckily, there's a pretty quick way to get back up there. Um, this is all very white boxy, very much an alpha stage. Uh, none of this is final environment art. Um, we're still just figuring out the feel of the space. Um, so now that they're at Company Corp, I'm asking the player to do a lot more with their abilities. Um, a lot more complicated, um, more punishing combinations of, of things. I'll show you what I mean right here. Got that wall ride, we got that jump. Oof, barely made that. Um, so there were like three or four things right there, all in a row. And as they get further up, um, things will get more and more difficult. Oof. Get my, get my blood pumping. Um, in this area, there's that glass bridge up there that's kind of their next goal. There's also this um, architectural rendering of the city um, there's an older version of Company Corp in there, and this will eventually be filled out with some final art assets. This is kind of just to give the idea, but I use this red light to create that sinister feel um, that, like, they feel that this is an ideal city, but to everyone else it's kind of horrific. So as they go up, um, Yeah, dang it, missed it. So yeah, anyway, that's our game. Um, I still need to flesh this area out, fill out with some more props and some more interactions here. But this is a uh, Chrome Edition so far. Hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in playing our game, uh, you can play our prototypes. Um, just go to my website, tylermcombs.com. Follow us on Twitter at Chrome Edition or Instagram at Chrome Edition. And that is that. So uh, thanks for popping in. Um, hope you enjoyed. And see you next time.